Hey guys, what's up? This is Israel. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial to show you how to get started in sculpt mode using Fusion 360. Gonna start off by going to create form, click OK, select the right side view, create the form, select the plane I'm going to be working on, and I'm going to change my direction to symmetry. And what this is going to do is going to create even evenly in both sides of the plane start the form and in this window right here I can change the overall size of the form and I can also change the amount of faces this is usually depending on how complex the design is so I'm going to be changing the height of the design So click OK when you're done. I'm going to turn off the origin. And I'm going to add symmetry to the body. I'm going to change to side view. I'm going to change my visual style to wireframe. That way I can see the design. Now I notice here that my orthographic wasn't aligned with the top view. So I'm going to go back and change it. The way I'm going to do that is go back to canvases and edit the image. And I'm going to shrink the image a little bit. You could also slide it if you need to. Click OK. Go back to my top view and start editing the form by right clicking and edit form. So there's different types here. There's the arrow that would allow you to uh, move the form. There's the slider that would allow you to shrink or extend the form. And so I'm going to start editing the form. I'm going to start shrinking the faces. Notice that I selected the two uh, the two faces to the right. I'm going to move the edge, and I'm just going to be modifying the form to align it with the underlay design. So change my view a little bit, that way I can get a better angle, change it to the side view, that way I can start working on the side. I'm constantly changing my view from orthographic to perspective to get a better idea of the design. I'm going to continue to edit the form. I decided not to do a lot to the back. I'm going to come back and edit it later. I'm going to change my visual style to hidden with visual edges only. And right here, I'm going to add edges to the sides to minimize the deformation of the form when I extrude more faces out of this form. gonna be getting rid of uh, symmetry I'm going to select the four faces right click edit notice that when I only pulled the arrow it extends the material but when I click alt then the arrow it adds more material so right now I'm just gonna be uh, extending the material and shrinking it I'm going to change my visual style to wireframe and I'm going to continue to edit the form here. So I'm going to be working on the top view now. I'm going to be shrinking the sides of the cabin. You can see how efficient it is to have your visual style as wireframe. So I added symmetry again. 
and I'm just going to be adjusting the form. So I'm going to be changing my visual style back to shaded with visible edges only. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and that you know how to start using sculpt mode in Fusion 360. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.